Hello. Alright, what are you doing, chat? And why is... Pretzel not... I have notify in chat turned on. Alright, hold on a second. Technology is not cooperating and I realize I left things in the other room. Yes, Susie. Including, apparently, a Susie. Um. Me. I'm on top of things. Also me. I'm definitely not. Oh, this was all in a bag. That explains a lot. Um, okay. This is what I get for trying to be organized. Okay. We've got a whole bunch going on here tonight. Move our drinks over. Check and make sure those captions are working and everything else is doing what it's supposed to. Alright. There we go. Okay. Let's swap over to just chatting. Hello everyone. Welcome in. It is some day of the week. I think it's Thursday. I'm not quite sure. Who knows at this stage? None of my songs are getting sent to chat, which is slightly annoying. Pretzel isn't even showing as being in chat. Which is slightly annoying. Let's reload my stream manager and see if that. Let's turn that off and turn it back on and see. So hi, it's Thursday. Uh, I had originally planned to sew tonight, and then, huzzah! Hi, thank you for that reset loop. I'm realizing that I think the reason I don't hear most of my notifications is the sound seems very quiet compared to the music I have playing. So that might be the problem. Not that the notifications aren't working, just that they're being overpowered by the music. We're still on the pop playlist tonight. But thank you for resubbing. I can't believe it's been 44 months. Or something like that. Uh, so hi everyone. It's been a week. We had two surprise streams on the weekend. And... Oh, everybody's like, 44 months! Hi Dave! Welcome in, thanks for the resub too. <laughs> Has it been that long since I turned on affiliate? It feels about right. Um... Hi Cypher, welcome back. I hope your travel was good. Pretzels would be the second most important part of the stream. There is a Susie here. You can just barely make her out. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there. See, Susie exists. She's real. Dave, I hope you're doing all right. I hope the weather's the weather's been good and you've been able to take the motorcycle out. Except for today. It rained today, so I'm assuming you got that rain before us. But over the weekend was reasonably nice. She basically is. The video we have with the shark hands of her, like, chomping very slowly is the best. Hey, Puddle Glam, welcome in. Uh... <laughs> no rain today, but slightly... Oh, good for you. We got a ton of rain, especially, like, overnight into the morning. It was pouring down for most of the day. Yay for bike night. Uh... Yeah, Susie's just over here. You can hear... I am assuming you all can hear her tail hitting... I try to not let her stand by the wall 
when we're like waiting for the elevator in the elevator because that's what it sounds like and it's very loud. Ah, oh, look at that head pets for Susie. All right, hold on. You're going to get some more treats and then I will give you head pets. Uh, but I hope everybody's doing well. I hope if you had a long weekend, you enjoyed your long weekend. If you have a short week, your short week's going okay. Hello. That's like the weirdest chompy chomp face. Uh, I was hoping she would lean her head up so I could pet her within view and you could see her getting her head pats, but no, she's just flopped down onto the ground, like she does. Uh, my original plan for you all, I want you to know, my original plan was to be sewing tonight, so I finished the jumpsuit, and next up is the, uh, is a dress, that I've had the material, like the jumpsuit, I've had the material for so long. Uh, hold on a second, let me actually pull out. I wanted to make, which is that, uh, the one that she's wearing in the photo is B. Um, so it's just like a little linen dress with some drawstring stuff, um, drawstring stuff with a bunch of buttons and a drawstring and elastic. Um, I have this lovely kind of burgundy-ish linen that I had picked up. Do I have a smaller piece here? This will be good enough. Um, very similar in color to what I'm wearing currently. That was not planned. Um, and I, it had me laying out the fabric in an awkward way that I did not read correctly. And so I ended up short of fabric. So I will uh, cut the bulk of it, except for the couple of pieces I could not because I was short fabric. And then I'm going to uh, go pick up the extra I need tomorrow. I thought I might get to it tonight, and that didn't happen for reasons. Um, after revise the list of who is most important on the stream, Susie, Nightbot, Pretzel, whatever drink I'm drinking, streamer. I like how I'm the fifth down the list. Uh, tonight we were drinking, this is the one I have all the time, which is a... Um, peach and blackberry cider. There was a sound effect. What was the sound effect? A donation from David. Thank you for that donation to St. Jude Children's Hospital. We are wrapping up. Well, first off, I can type y'all. For St. Jude's, with, for St. Jude's, for St. Jude, I add plural to everything. We broke our $850.34 goal, and we are now at $869. And has claimed the onesie reward. Okay. So first off, thank you for donating dollars, Dave. We will swap out to our onesie in just a moment. Uh, but dollars are going towards support of St. Jude, which does both research and treatment uh, for childhood cancer and other um, largely terminal illnesses. Uh, so thank you so much for all of that support. It's going to a fantastic cause uh, and continues. I don't know what Team Cypher is at now. I I'm not going to lie. Oh no. <laughs> Leaf, let me update. Five is Chad, six is Tree. I'm the least important one here, which as a dog owner, I'm used to. People are always going to care more about the dog than they are the owner when they run into you. So this is normal. <laughs> uh, so please hold a second. I'm going to, we've just started, but I'm going to swap us to BRB. We'll go swap, jump into SBN onesie and then we'll be back. Might as well start out stream right.
This is true. Nightbot was placed surprisingly high on that list of priorities. <laughs> We are an espion once again. I'm trying to figure out like how best to clip the mic. I'm just gonna constantly be not quite pointing in the right direction. So we have our espion here. Nightbot does carry the stream. Uh, also, hair was trimmed, so ironically, we kept the same about the same length in the front. It'll be hard to see now with the espion hood on, which I should have done beforehand. Um, but about the same length on the front, but if I turn sideways, you might be able to actually see. We have a nice cut length. It's actually very hard to see with the hood in the way. Um, and it's essentially just at the bot top of my bottom, top of my neck, uh, on the back. So we have a nice, like, distinct difference in height on the haircut, which would be nice for travel and how hot it is right now. Luckily, it is cooler today, so we will do much better in our onesie than we ha we did over the weekend. So, all said, I thought I was going to sew tonight, and then I realized I was short fabric. So, uh, luckily for me, one of my nearby Joann's does have the exact color, the exact same fabric, uh, in stock. So, I will be going to pick that up tomorrow afternoon with some other errands and things that I need to run, and then uh, and decided that instead of trying to sew around those pieces of what have you tonight, I'm going to go ahead and try and cut some other things so I can spend the bulk of the weekend sewing. This will wrap up the last of my projects pre-vacation, uh, so I want to get the dress done, fingers crossed. Um, I have I'm going to attempt without a pattern to make a tank top. Uh, so we will see how that goes. Uh, hi, Tom, welcome in. And then finally, I should also update my There we go. My goal for these last little bits of last little bits of the month. Um, I believe it is the same one I wore for the guests because my character was a conspiracy theorist who actually went through the Monster of the Week campaign in character in a Espeon onesie, because why not? I felt like it was it was on brand to say I'm a conspiracy theorist and I also live in a onesie. Feels appropriate. Yeah, we're really, we're sewing on the dangerous side. We're not doing a pattern. I've watched a bunch of videos of how people, now we're not doing a pattern, but I did pull out a tank top that I like the fit of, and we're gonna attempt to cut around it. Now there's a couple of things that make it a little weird, which is one, if I cut exactly to the size of the existing tank top, I'm not accounting for hems. So I'm actually gonna cut a little larger. It's sort of gonna be a guide. Um, I think I have folded the fabric correctly for me to get two pieces that I can do as like a front and a back. So I'm really just gonna need to sew at the uh, sides and at the shoulders. Dave's like, I just showed up for, ca for chaos. Uh, short but long week, so going to pass out. Have a good, have a good night, Dave. We appreciate you. Thank you for the resub. Thank you for the donation of St. Jude. I'm glad you got to take the bike out and make bike night, uh, and I hope you get good rest. Also, I feel you about, it's been a long but a short week. I've had, like, I'm busy all the time at work, but it feels like this week is the week of, there's multiple things on fire, and everybody pings you with something they need urgently. Uh, And I'm just constantly in a like, uh, this, uh, that. I had to go into a call with like three SVPs and a president of a division and be like, what am I doing here? Except Nightbot, the number two most important part of the stream will not be happy with your statement. I feel like our uh, positions have been reversed where normally we don't like Nightbot and now suddenly we do like Nightbot.
it's fine. But yes, so uh, lots of good stuff going on all said and done. There's been um, fun things. I watched the PlayStation State of Play. It was like, as an overall presentation, it was kind of lackluster, but there were a couple of games that I was interested in from the presentation. Uh, including, there was one with a giant fish friend, and I'm like, yes, I, I want the fish friend. I would like to fight the giant fish friend. Yeah, like, the overall presentation was okay. It was just like, the... The, like, pacing and everything was a little awkward. It felt... They ended on kind of a, like, abrupt note. Like, I feel they could have reordered it, stuck a couple different... Uh, they could have reordered it, had slightly better pacing, and made it feel more exciting uh, than what it did. But there was... It, it, it looks kind of Souls-like. I missed... Um, it was the uh, game whose name start, has wind in the title, and I'm totally blanking what the name of it is. Uh, but you get to fight a giant fish friend, and I was like, this this feels appropriate. It's not a bear. Uh, but yes, so our plan tonight is I need, I'm going to attempt to cut the, our attempt at a tank top sans pattern, but using a tank top. Uh, then we are going to attempt, and I have enough fabric that if I mess it up, I could do another one, theoretically. Hey Rose, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Uh, so we're gonna attempt to cut the tank top. I need to cut some interfacing. I also uh, pulled on all of the materials to potentially, I need to like look and see if I have enough, uh, but to potentially cut out for the bag I wanna make for myself. So in order of priority before I leave on vacation next week, <laughs> I want to complete the dress, which I don't have enough fabric for, and I need to go buy another yard and a half. I want to complete the tank top, and then a bonus will be if I complete the test build of the bag for myself. So tonight's going to be a lot of cutting fabric in the anticipation of being able to sew a lot over the weekend. So having said that, let us swap scenes. Uh, please disregard the absolute mess that is my table right now. Yes. Hi. Hello. What are you talking about? Susie has opinions right now. Uh, let's swap you over to this one. Because I'm going to go over here. I got like some stuff cleaned up and then I sort of made it more of a mess. Um, so this is sort of a lot of the essential sort of this is the leftover fabric from when we were cutting, which can go here. This is actually a big piece of fabric, which we're just going to throw down there. That's fine. Uh, oh my god, your tail is so loud, dog. I'm going to be smart this time and remember to bring up chat on my phone so I can actually read it. Huzzah. Susie does want to be part of the conversation. All right, so disregard all of this for the moment. This is the mess of what I'm going to try and make um, from. Into a bag. The good part is the bulk of the dress is cut out. The only thing I have is the piece that I didn't have enough fabric for, which is just very, very long. It's like 45 inches long. Uh, and it's a band that will go around the skirt. So. I need a lot of that. And then $2,629 for Team Cypher. Yay! Well done, everyone. Um, so, the bulk of the dress is cut, so it'll just be the sewing. And then we're about to cut, you can kind of see here, this is a Hold on. Can I do this in such a way that y'all can see it all right? I showed it off, I think, on stream. Um, 
it's flowers. It's flowers. It's like a, feels like a chiffon type fa fabric, kind of a thin, light, silky print. Uh, this red sitting on top is the tank top that I'm going to be cutting a mock version of. Um, the only thing I think I'm going to do is there's a lot of extra fabric on the side. So to try and make the most out of this in case I got to do it more than once, we will actually. So this is folded. There's two layers here. Um, so it's kind of folded in half together as you would get it off the bolt. And then I folded it over again with the goal that I'm going to cut essentially two pieces on the fold, which will make my front and my back of the tank top. Now let's look. There's still a lot here. There's probably way more accurate and technical ways I could do this, but we're not going to. We're going to wing it. What, what does it you say? We, I, I sew on instinct and vibes. That's what we're doing right now. So now I've put it down. I only got like, I don't know, two inches width here of extra on the end, which is what I want because I only have a yard and an eighth of this fabric. Um, there's a bunch of it over here. So I want to have some extra in case I need to figure out what the heck I'm doing. Now, as mentioned, the bottom of the tank top has about an inch hem that's been folded up and closed with the serger. And then um, it looks like it used almost like a bias tape binding on the edges up here. I am slightly less concerned about the bottom hem. We can figure that out. Uh, the top is where there are question marks for me. <laughs> we're going to be, we're going to be real honest. Um, so I'm going to cut a general outline with a little extra on the edges because I want to leave enough space for me to do like a basic rolled hem or something of that nature. I don't know. I'll figure it out is basically what I'm saying. <laughs> Sewing on instinct and vibes. The only thing I am going to do is I'm going to make a small mark over here. The, uh, back of the tank top sits higher. That's what we're going to cut against, but I'm going to make a marking, a relative, like not exact, but a relative marking for what the front lower neckline looks like. Um, so we want to make a bigger are you abandoning me already, Susie? We've barely been here like 20 minutes. So we're doing this whole thing on vibes. <laughs> um, and so if I've done this correctly, very strong emphasis on if and correctly, I will have two pieces of fabric that I can basically make a front and a back of this out of. So we're going to do this. <laughs> Despite the fact that I got this fabric on sale and it was a remnant at the end of a bolt, so therefore it was even more on sale, I'm like a little paranoid to do this cutting even though this is exactly what I purchased it for. So if I F it up, it's fine. <laughs> so we're just going to cut. I'm going to probably give myself about an inch give or an inch width on each side. Um, so I'll probably do the outer edge first and then I'll trim because there's multiple folds here at the bottom. So we're just going to kind of hope for the best, y'all. Oh, I'm cutting it. I'm committed now. Now again, I'm going to give myself, I'm not going to go right to the edge of the tank top because the entire intent here is to give myself space for doing a hem, however I choose to do that, whether it's a rolled hem, which I think will be my preference, because um, I also have to take into account things like seam allowance. 
Um, so that's my marking, so we're just, we're just gonna... Like, this is way too big, which is fine, because the entire intent and purpose here is that... Like, it's gonna look obnoxiously large compared to, like, the size of the straps and everything. And that is intentional. All right. So there we go. Cut out the base body here. We're going to probably, I'm just going to cut the very bottom where the folds are. Uh, again, to give myself like an inch-ish of kind of cushion here. And then, put this off. And if I unfold it all the way, we're gonna have two pieces that look almost like a tank top, y'all. Surprise! But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, uh, middle piece that I did not mark and move it to the side and then I'm going to fold back over, match back up um, for the most part these pieces so that I can do a little extra trim here which is going to basically make this our front piece with a slightly lower neck. Thank you, Rose. Hope, fingers crossed it will. Um, I watched a video and I think this works. Um, I'm taking a little creative freedom here. I won't pretend that that is not the case. So here's what I'm going to do. This is going to be our technically our front. If I lay the other piece on top, I'm putting right sides together because I'm actually going to pin them. It won't be super easy for you to tell right here. Or no, I put... But I, there's about a half inch, three quarters of an inch difference in the neckline. Um, now this does mean that I'm going to have to do a couple of things. So like obviously I, this isn't cut perfectly. So our seam allowance is going to have to do a lot of work to even everything out, which is fine. We anticipated that. Um, Obviously, because I trimmed it, the edges of my straps are not quite matching. So I will actually, let's see, we're going to, a little low, so we're going to move that up. So everything is kind of, sort of. And then all I'll do is I'll taper, well, we won't yet, but when I'm ready to, I will essentially taper my, um, the edges up here, like I'll cut, I will cut them so that they end up about the same size with the intent that once I've actually done a hem on them, I'll probably, I hate to say cheat, but I want to try using the rolled hem foot. There's, I think a, I have a five millimeter and a seven millimeter. Um, and then I don't have to do a whole bunch of hemming except for maybe on the very bottom. The other thing I might do here, TBD, again, I might get a little creative, is depending on how it actually fits, I have might have made it long enough where I could choose to put a piece of elastic in the bottom so I could make a little channel for that and do elastic so that it's a little bit tighter at the waist, brings it in. I don't know yet if I actually truly want to do that, but it is an option and I have a bunch of extra elastic sitting around. 
So I'm kind of getting a little creative. I've seen ways you can do similar like this with if you just wanted to do two rectangles and then put spaghetti straps or something. In this case, like you don't even technically need something to cut off of. You could just measure one out. In this case, I wanted to use a tank top I already have that I like how it like technically hangs and looks. It's a little bit looser to try it out. And then I can sort of get creative on how I choose to do things like straps or elastic or what have you in the future. So, Sorry, I just hit the mic. I should have grabbed my hair tie, which I don't know where it is. We're just gonna keep the onesie on. Um, so I pinned the whole thing together just to kind of give you an idea. I don't know how well you'll be able to see you won't super well, but there's, yeah, there's like a good, when it's all together, like inch or so difference. I don't know how well it's going to fit with the fact that I'm already like wearing clothes, but I'm going to try and not accidentally poke myself with the needles that stitch it together. Now, something I didn't 100% account for, you can kind of see here, this is not the best, but you get an idea. Um, I was able to put it on. It is technically a pink pop. Um, one thing I didn't account for was that the one that I cut is a stretchier fabric, has a little bit more give um, than this fabric I think does. So it might end up being a little bit of a tighter piece once it's all put together, but it's also going to be a little tighter right now because it's over another shirt and because it's only pinned together, so it's a little like funky fit that way. But I think as a whole, it's not too bad. We might cheat and just sew this one to begin with because I want to see how it would fit. Uh, even with it just sewn together. So there you go. The other downside is when you're using pins to do that, uh, it's, you run the risk of stabbing yourself. We did not, but we could have. Um, I also, the VO on that was really bad because I put it on and then I was not holding the mic. Um, so basically, you could see what I was doing. I don't know how well the mic got picked up there. Um, but it does, for the most part, fit. It, I did not necessarily account for the level of stretch that the tank top I used as a basic, uh, or the tank top I used as a basis for it actually has, which is a little bit more. I believe it's a cotton. Um, I did manage not to stab myself with the pens. But so this is a pretty basic. Probably what I would do, if I'm real honest, I think that I would go ahead and do the rolled hem on the neckline and the um, armholes before I stitch it together. So that that's not something I have to deal with, with the after I put in the seams. So I would just roll hem, neckline, um, armholes already and then stitch the whole thing together which is basically the shoulders and the side seams the only thing I would probably leave to last would be the bottom hem and that's only because um, 
on the bottom hem because then I could decide if I wanted to try putting elastic or anything on it. I think now looking at this, as much as I would love to do elastic, I don't, I think I would have needed to cut it to with more fabric first. Um, because again, I did not account for, I did not account for the stretch that was in. I did not account for the stretch in the original material, but I still think it would be a feasible workable tank top. Now this is a relatively sheer material, so this is probably more likely to either be something that I would try a second one, up the size a little bit, and then line it, um, or I accept that it's like a top that I would wear over say a swimsuit or something of that nature. So we're going to set this to the side because I might actually try to stitch this tonight. Zero days since last stabbing. Yep. You are correct. So that's like a super basic. Now I've seen, um, when I was looking up like ways that you could do this, I have seen people who have done, um, versions of that where they'll cut extra for facing and what have you. If you wanted to make it, uh, Chainmail pajamas, if only. Um, hey, Cold Drake, welcome in. So you could do facing around the neckline and stuff, or if it was a thicker material, not quite as sheer, um, I could do the neckline with a bias tape, but that will not work for this one. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep it as is. We still have plenty, I don't know. How much do we think this is? Where's my ruler? Not where I can see it. If not a yard, near a yard. Not quite a yard, but probably decently close to a yard of fabric that we will probably test a second build with. Um, so we're going to move that to this side. So next up, y'all, is the bag I want to do for myself. Also, because you mentioned it, well, it'll be too difficult for me to take out, but I do have this like mesh knit like fabric with sparkles through it that looks like chainmail that I'm actually very excited about. I have no idea what I'm gonna make with it, but I got it. One day I will make something. All right, so next up is the fabric or the pieces for a pattern that I am going to sorry I'm reading the note so I do if they're using lightweight cotton for quilt weight cotton got it all right so this one if y'all remember no, this is going to be the bag for myself. Hold on. Let me go find a... This is going to be this bag the convertible like backpack tote purse thing. So I'm gonna take a look at what I need to cut because I have two different vinyls here. And I don't know if I have enough for with this one. So ha these are like scrap vinyls that I picked up from uh, one of my local shops, they do a lot of decor uh, fabrics and things of that nature, and they have a bunch of really fun, when I work my way up to it, they have a bunch of really fun uh, vinyls that I'd like to try for bags one day, but they also have a kind of remnant scrap bin, which I dig through to find these decent but less fun um, vinyls to use for testing. All right, so uh, I don't know if this particular one will be enough. So 
So we're just going to take a look at how much I need to cut. Um, I don't think it's going to be enough. That's just a stabilizer. I'm just basically looking and being like, how many do I need? One exterior. Okay, that's liner interfacing. Liner interfacing. Exterior. Liner and interfacing. Huh. This is just interfacing. Ah, here we go. Exterior and exterior. Oh, and our checklist. So I think I'm going to be just short. I would probably have enough space. It's, it's going to be a little close, so we're not going to be able to use this one, which is fine. I thought that might end up being the case. So let's throw this all back together. That's basically, it's like a half size. So it's a half size backpack and all of the straps with a couple extra pockets, obviously. But the benefit of all of the straps is you have the ability to swap it between like backpack versus crossbody bag versus like tote-ish bag. Um, yeah, this will still get used for other stuff. I just wasn't sure. I used it for a couple of other things and I wasn't sure if there was enough left. So alternatively, I have instead also a remnant, totally different color, might also... All right, let's check. I'm gonna laugh real hard if I end up not having enough of this fabric either. <laughs> like, unfortunately, it would be kind of terrible, but also sort of funny to me. The good part with vinyl is I don't really have to care in the same way about So one, two, and this would be for the test build. If you all remember, if you all remember, There we go. Yeah, I'll be able to make this fit. Perfect. Great. Uh, you could make the outside of that dark material and use a silver smaller piece for sides and pockets. That's true. Well, and here's the thing is like there's, you know, exterior. I'm probably just doing one to begin with um, to try it out. Because this is gusset, D-ring connector, back handle overlay. So yeah, we'd have side panels. There's a bottom panel. I'd want the darker for the bottom panel. We could do like the front pocket, smaller front pocket in a different color. Technically, I'm supposed to cut out this part in the center, which that's a problem for future me. Um, so really, this is just all meant to be a test. Uh, we're This is the test build. And then if y'all remember, did I bring it back in here? Y'all have seen the nice fancy fabric though, right? And then I have this guy, sparkly blue, fun, fun, fun. Whoops. And then this guy, also sparkly blue in a different way. Shimmery blue? These are what I would like to make a final version out of. Um, I'm trying to use like scraps and stuff that I have around for the test builds. Uh, that is a good question. We should look at the instructions to see if it tells us.
<laughs> if I remember correctly, uh, do do. I believe, let's do a quick, we're going to do a quick cheat, which is there's edge, yeah, there's, um, some of these do have markings, actually it's very funny, some of these have the indicator markings for the seam allowance and others don't. Um, reading the instructions, let's see, seam allowance is three eighths unless otherwise stated. The bunch of pockets are optional. I've chosen, I'm like for this first one, I'm going to do all of the pockets to figure out what I like, don't like. Um, Seam allowance for basing and top stitching is one eighth. Mm -hmm. Back stitch is started in. Read pattern carefully and completely before cutting out your fabrics. Thank you for telling that because I normally do not. Uh, let's see. They have their abbreviations used. They talk about the various um, using a thinner vinyl, which this probably would count as a thinner vinyl for the exterior. May need to interface um, with others out of the seams to get pattern pieces for this purpose cut. Oh, to get pattern pieces for this purpose cut at the, cut the pattern piece, okay. To, there's a lot of pattern pieces in the story. To get pattern pieces for this purpose, cut the pattern pieces at the dash lines. So uh, for thinners, they say you may need to interface with a um, Decoville light or similar interfacing out of the seams. So yes. Essentially, this is accounting for the seam allowances. Because they're telling you if you want to cut extra pieces sans seam allowance, do it with the, the guides that they've provided. Or the dash lines as a guide. Alright, do, 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 do. I've got the stuff they asked for. I would say this up here is, is probably a lighter weight um, vinyl, so we will treat it like a lighter or a thinner vinyl. I actually don't know. They literally just tell me like how much uh, yardage it was. This was a half yard at five ninety nine a yard, so it cost me three bucks to buy this. <laughs> um, yeah. The fake. All right, so to do, then it's just talking about if I'm using other fabrics for my exterior, which I am not. All right, they gave an example of what they used for the test build, which is assumingly what's in the photos and stuff. I only printed a couple of pages because I will actually follow the instructions via PDF. I don't. It's like 30 pages, so I don't want to print the whole thing. Um, tips for sewing vinyl or cork. We're aware of this, we will disregard it. Um, I give uh, recommendations here for everything, blah, 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 blah. So uh, the webbing I picked up was this purple for the test build. I have not purchased, it's a little stretchier. Um, I have not purchased a uh, webbing yet for the nicer version. Um, I was planning to, and then I realized I was not going to get that done before I left unless I only did this project. But because I wanted to do the jumpsuit and the dress, I was like, forget it. We will do our test build. If it works, I'll take it on my trip. If it doesn't, that's fine. That's what a future build trip is for. Um, do, do, do. By a table of lots. Sorry, I'm just reading to see if there's anything else. I will have, to, so I'm going to attempt this version with all of the pockets. 
because I want to try it on the test build and then from there I can decide uh, which what I like the best. Now, we're going to make this real interesting and by make this interesting I mean I'm just going to use my cutting mat. I'm going to go figure out where the heck I put my rotary cutters, which is over here. And we're first, we're going to freehand this, which might be a terrible idea. Um, let me find my pencil. So we're also going to mark off. So we're going to do the exterior first, and then I have a bunch of different cotton fabrics. We're going to pick one. Um, again, scraps from other projects. Mm -hmm. focused. I'll probably look really silly. All right, there we go. The rest of this I have like a nice clean edge I can finish cutting this on. All right. And there we go. We have a piece. So we might try, depending on how frustrating, frustrated I am with this <laughs> at a certain stage, and uh, do the tank top just so that I can take a break from cutting. But my goal here, so this is our, that was our front panel. We got our exterior. So they kind of have multiple checklists for your cutting or like all the pieces you're supposed to have. So I like using it like a checklist in the sense of I will actually go mark off each piece as I do it. Um, all right. Great. Alright, so that's our large front pocket. Front. Large front pocket. Here we go. You. The part with this guy is I actually need to cut two of these. It's a zipper panel. Um, so here's the really boring part of me just cutting a bunch of things. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> um, depending on how my weekend is going, I may do a surprise weekend stream for more sewing, like I did this past weekend. Sometimes it depends on, like, do I want company while I do this? The answer is not always yes. Sometimes I'm like, nah, I just want to put music on. Well, the other thing too is it can be mood where it's like, I want to put on, you know, K-pop or something where I don't want to get a DMCA strike while I'm streaming.
I will say more than once cutting on this table that I do wish um, that I had a larger self-healing cutting mat that would fit more of the table. Um, I need to do a second one of those. So. So that I'm not, so I have an 18 by 24, which is not like a bad size for a for a cutting mat. It's just I would say maybe mildly frustrating is the way to put it. When I'm like working against this very specific size and wish I had a little bit more of the my table space to work with when it comes to cutting it can be slightly frustrating because there are times where I'm like oh I don't want to I would cut a how to phrase this um I would cut like a clothing piece with a rotary blade instead of scissors if I had a big enough mat to put it on. Alright, let's go. So two down of this, which is our zipper panel to exterior. Done. And like, there's enough times that like Joanne has a sale that I could probably get a good sized mat for, or a larger mat for not excessively expensive. Like cutting supplies being 50% off and things like that. I just haven't quite got into the point where I could justify it. Like, I'm just like, well, I, it, I have stuff that's good enough. So let's be real, if we were going to, if we were going to buy anything at this stage, it would absolutely be the cordless iron. Um, we'll slide this little feather in. Y'all can see it for the most part. That was our large front, large front pocket gusset. All right, let's move a bunch of these little bits off to the end. But yeah, anybody working on anything interesting or have anything fun happening this weekend? Um, I'm meeting up with a friend for brunch on Sunday, but otherwise, oh my God, did I miss the sound effect? Am I that far behind? No, you all have just shown up. Perfect. Okay. Uh, hi. Hold on. Let me switch. Hi. 
Hi. Hello, friends. Welcome in. I missed the sound effect, so my apologies. Uh, welcome in, Raiders. Hi. Hello. How are you today? Um, hello, everyone. Hi, Pirate and friends. How was the rest, or well, how was the next section of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? Is the correct question to ask. But hi, welcome in. If you don't know me, I'm Lady Luck34. My pronouns are she, her. I'm a variety streamer who does crafting and gaming things, and I am mostly being a crafting streamer right now because I'm doing all the sewing. Or in, in, in the case of tonight, we're going to be doing all of the fabric cutting. But hey, my friend Sahana, Prelt, Pirate, of course. Oh, you were side questing. For some reason in my mind, because at one point you were talking about, like, I think I know what's happening over there, and I'm pretty sure that's a spoiler, that I just assumed that you were doing story stuff and you were going to come back to it. Uh, so side questing, yay! Uh, we are cutting fabric tonight because I messed up and I'm short the, a little bit of fabric I needed for a project I had mostly cut out. Um, so... We've cut a non-pattern attempt at a tank top, which I will maybe sew tonight. Um, and now we are cutting out a test fabric, or not test fabric, we're cutting out vinyl. And it will be a test build of this bag, which I um, want to use as a convention bag. But before I use my good fabric, I have some remnant vinyl I picked up at the local shop that I'm doing, a t cutting out to try and do a test build. Uh, we finished the jumpsuit that we were working on over the weekend. We obviously finished the flamingo pickle bag, pickle ball bag. I keep trying to really shorten what that is. Uh, so I have a linen dress, which is the one I'm short fabric on, that we are going to attempt to sew over the weekend. Um, which is, uh, I put it over there, um, actually, we can pull it out, we're taking, we're, we're taking a short break. My music has, has, music, reload, reload please. Next song. Um, so it is, we're going to be attempting, I'm going to be attempting to make the dress that this lady is wearing. And I am doing so in a burgundy linen. So we have like 90% of it cut out except for the pieces that I, the fabric I was short on. So I'm missing, um, unfortunately, it's this really long piece. I don't have fabric that's long enough. Though if I'm really feeling up to it, I might attempt to pull out the leftover fabric and see if it's like, if it's just short enough, if I can cut and sew the pieces together, because I think it's all meant to be facing. So it'll be fine. So that's, I'm going to attempt to get that done before my trip, um, so that if it works. Now, the, the black linen jumpsuit actually is pretty solid, but I tried wearing it, like, to take Susie on a walk yesterday. It was very warm. It was very sunny. It was too hot. It was, it was just too hot. So I was like, okay, this is really great, but not this color in this particular fabric for like being outside. So it will not work big for vacation, but I hope that this dress will. Um, this little scrap of something is two pieces of fabric. Um, I'm gonna try and open it up so y'all can see. Um, so this is the maybe gonna be a tank top. Uh, hold on. It's inside out right now because I put right sides together before I tried before I tried pinning it together. Um, but it will maybe sort of, fingers crossed, this is the wrong side, so it's a little bit dull color, but this will be, fingers crossed, a tank top. So we might try sewing a little bit of that together. We'll see. Um, refresh. What are you doing, pretzel? And then we're cutting vinyl for a test build of the bag. Here we go. So yeah, so I'm down to kind of my last two slash 2.5 if we count the tank top. 
uh, projects before I leave on vacation next Thursday. Uh, so real quick before I forget, I will be streaming as usual on Monday, currently. Uh, I might pick up an extra stream over the weekend, TBD on how I'm doing on all of this stuff and if I want company or if I just want to like blast K-pop and uh, not have to worry about DMCAs. Um, and then after Monday's stream, unless something surprising happens that I want to do something Tuesday, Wednesday, find that highly unlikely. Uh, that will we'll be on break for a couple weeks until I am back from vacation, which might be the 17th. Like I get back the 17th, let me rephrase that. I get back the 17th, whether I will actually stream the 17th will be TBD on how like the trip and the travel and flying goes. Uh, so yeah. We're playing Mass Effect this weekend. We're gonna go make friends with the Thresher Maw. I may or may not. People, there might be mishaps, is what I will say. There will never be intentional mishaps, but they could happen. And we're also continuing to fundraise for uh, St. Jude. We actually had got an additional donation, which is why we're being Espeon tonight. The greatest of the evolutions. And uh, we broke eight hundred, our goal of eight hundred and fifty dollars and thirty-four cents. And now we're just chipping away, and the team has broken the twenty-five hundred dollar goal that we had. So yay us! So now we're gonna go back to cutting the vinyl. Let me swap back to crafting. Have you not seen the? I I don't know why I'm looking over here when the cameras. Espeon, there actually is a tail, too. Because if you're gonna go in, go all in. Actually, y'all will be amused by this. This was legitimately a gift. <laughs> From friends who know me way too well. Because what do you get, your favorite Lady Luck? <laughs> if not an espion onesie. <laughs> uh, I'm also freehanding cutting this. The pieces aren't particularly large and that's what self-healing cutting mats and rotary blades are for. Let's be real here. Right. So anyways, how's everyone doing besides all the side quests? Hope your week is going well. I hope that maybe you have some fun things planned for the weekend. This is our main body panel. When it's here. Done. Oh, didn't quite make it all the way. Through. Oh, we're good. Boom, boom. This is fine. All right. <laughs> Give me an Umbreon. Here's the thing. Have I ever told you all the story of how Espeon became the one? It was all luck. It was very on track. Also, I would just like to say, uh, without, um, without going into the specifics of current events for those of us in the U.S., can we just talk about how great the number 34 is? Just briefly. Because it is obviously the best number right now in this particular day. Just saying. Um, I 
All right, so we have our small front pockets. But anyways, all right. I'm playing a little bit of game of like turning myself around all of this, so like just don't mind me. Totally fine. Just kind of moving things around. Um, so Espeon, so this was, was it Jin? Was it Jin 3? Also Sylveon, good choice for the kid. What are all, I already know what Pirate's answer is, even though he's wrong. Do what are all of your favorite EV evolutions? <laughs> Everybody, I feel like um, people who play Pokemon have very strong feelings about what their favorite evolution is, and I'm absolutely one of those people. Before, uh, Gold and Silver, which is when they introduced the day-night cycle and we first got Espeon and Umbreon, uh, my favorite was Jolteon. He just, like, he's a spiky, spiky boy. Uh, Vaporeon, solid. Like, listen, Sylveon, all good choices. All right, we got our bottom panel. Now, this is this particular, um, Fabric is not necessarily in the best shape, but that's okay. Because, again, this is meant to be a test build. Um, just Evie. I like to see them evolve. I don't think I... You know, think you, in fairness, there are a lot of people who have very strong feelings about, like, just Evie as a whole. And the fun of the fact that Evie... The Evie... The idea that Eevee can evolve into so many different permutations, um, I actually have it, is it on this computer or is it on my other computer? One of my computers, my background is actually, it's like the Pink Floyd um, prism, but it's Eevee, like a shadow of Eevee going in one side and then all of the Eeveelutions coming out the other side in, you know, in the rainbow colors. And I love it. Uh, but the thing with Eevee is, like, Eevee can become anything if Eevee wants to. Um, which I love. So, uh, I forget exactly, was it Jin? I guess it technically would have been Jin too, wouldn't it? Um, Which introduced, which was gold silver, was like the first um, kind of set, and then crystal was like the half gin next variation, um, and that is the gin that introduced the day night cycle. So it introduced a couple of things. First, you had the day night cycle. Then you had the idea of like the happiness of your Pokemon. And so the logic was at the time is that you had um, that your Eevee had to be happy enough, like had to be at a certain level of happiness. And then the next time they leveled up, they would evolve. There was something on the vinyl. I don't know what it was. Um, and so it was kind of a random look of the draw based on like the day-night cycle and what... 
So I was, I left it up to chance. I said, you know what? I want EV to evolve. I want one of the new evolutions, but I, at the time, did not care which. So it was like, I'm just going to keep going until EV is happy enough, and then it will be luck of the draw, whether it evolves during the day or night. I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to try and tilt the odds in my favor one way or the other. And it just so happened that EV was happy enough and evolved during the day, and I got Espeon. And then Espeon freaking carried me through that entire game. All the way to the end. And so then Espeon became my favorite. Uh, that is true. They've got a lot of really good uh, evolutions. A lot of it, obviously, like when you think about like Glaceon and Leafeon and stuff, is dependent on like what new um, types they introduce. Yes, Espeon is psychic. So we had... Um, and they had morning, was it morning sun? Was the one that would let you recover HP, which like just did so much work for me. <laughs> All right, so we got side panels. So. Umbreon is dark. It was really interesting to have, like, Psychic versus Dark as their choices at the time, but, like, I get it. Alright. Go. You're tiny, so we'll just put you here. That was the D-Ring connector. Yes. Um... They did miss out. I will say, <laughs> the first time that I saw, like, the various, like, Mega Eevee Lucians were, <laughs> honestly, pretty hilarious. <laughs> um, hopefully not a ghost type one that raises some returning questions. No, don't, like, no, they need to do it because, as we have discussed, there are some really weird, <laughs> like, the fact that Slowpoke Tail is considered a delicacy there are some weird questions, and I want them to make a ghost type evolution because then we will have further weird questions to ask. <laughs> um. Like, I kind of want to know the answers. <laughs> Or I want to debate the answers. <laughs> because I think it'll be funny. What was it you asked on stream the other day, uh, Cypher, which was like, are, are zombies and vampires related? And I was like, Funny you should ask that, because I have asked this exact question before. <laughs> or I've posited this exact question before. Do we think Ghost and Dark Pokemon are like cousins? What does it mean to be related? <laughs> what is the genus genus of a <gasps> of Pokemon or like family or whatever the various uh, various things are? <laughs> Asking for a friend, and that friend is me.
Oh, 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 oh. go back, go back where I wanted you. Besides the pausing, Pretzel's doing some decent, decent music selections for us tonight. Though I don't think people properly tag, like, songs that they add to it, because I'm like, I, I said instrumentals only. A lot of this is not instrumentals only. Alright. On exterior, this is the small, small front pocket. Small front pocket. That's it, there we go. Uh, I think we're actually on pop right now. I moved away. I moved away from main character mode because one, I didn't truly believe that all of that was main character mode. They definitely had a lot of side character uh, components going on there. And uh, two, uh, the other night I really wanted, or the other day I really wanted something upbeat, and the first song was like sad and slow, and I was like, yeah, no, we're not doing this. <laughs> so we swapped over to pop. The issue is that I've been listening to a lot of K-pop when I've been sewing off stream. And so I'm like, well, that's the mood I want right now. But obviously I have to worry about things like DMCA and what have you. And despite the fact that I've fallen off uploading stuff to YouTube, I have now, despite my failed hard drive, still been pulling my VODs down so that one day I might once again start uploading stuff to YouTube again. Alright. Um... You together. Put you together. So that was our D ring connectors. Alright. D ring connectors for exterior, 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 exterior. I'm just making sure I've cut all the exterior things that I need. I did. Alright, you I don't need. Your lining, your lining, your lining, and your stabilizer. So stabilizer is easy. Alright, cool. So here's what we're gonna do, y'all. Uh, we are going, we have a little scrap of our fabric left, so we will set it to the side. But I feel like we did good. We did a half yard and we ended up with a little block left, so I feel like we did a pretty solid job there of cutting. Um, I need one bottom stabilizer, which should be... This is a heavier fabric. Fine. Perfect, just has to be good enough. Huzzah. Might have ended up with a lot more of that than I needed, but it's fine. Here is bottom panel, bottom stabilizer. Where is... Please hold while I check where this supposed asterisk is. That is, uh...
Hold on. Let me go read. Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. So essentially, um, for the interfacing, I only need so much as it relates to the fabric that I'm using. So they're saying essentially, um, I only need it if I'm using a quilt weight cotton for lining, which I do in a canvas or quilt weight cotton for the exterior, which I don't, I'm using a vinyl. Um, so we will only need to cut enough pieces to account for the lining um, in terms of interfacing. Uh, I'm going to need your all's opinion in just a moment because we need to pick what our lining fabric is going to be and I have options. But first was, what's today? Today's the 30th. Bye. Remnants. I'm sorry, I'm putting my uh, remnant vinyl from Lorraine's. What color do you all call this? What color do you think this is? Is this like a... I don't even know what color I would call this. Like a deep turquoise, maybe? Um, let's go to a better light. Navy? Let's, we're gonna swap to this one real quick. This light I think will be a little less obnoxious. Yeah, I guess we could call it. It's almost like a... Not like a true blue, it's almost like a blue... A slate... Sleet? Um... It's like hints of like a blue-green, almost, I would say. We'll say both. All right, so let's see. Our stabilizer is Helen at 71. Helen 71. F interior, and then we are going to use as our interfacing is going to be SF 101. And then our notes, we are going to do interfacing only for lighting. All right. Keep track of my projects in this master box, master box back, master notebook. Okay. So you all have seen that this is, we will, we'll leave the piece, the non-use piece here so you all can continue to see the fabric. Um, so next up, we need to pick our lining fabric. And I have a lot of lining fabric. We have a variety of choices. This is not the lining, this is the interfacing. Um, so disregard uh, the fact that I brought all of this over here. It's because I think I'll be able to cut some pieces off of the little bits. Um, so, we have options. We have a lot of options. Not all of these will necessarily have enough. So some of these we might consider and they will automatically be, uh, actually, you know what, let's cheat. We're gonna come over here to the other camera for y'all. Slide that down. So it's a little easier to see. So we're going to give you some options and I would like your all's opinion. So as a reminder, this is the exterior. I can bust it off at any time if you want it for comparison. Um, I don't think I will have... Oh, uh, hold on. Let me check my... 
Let me check my supply sheet. <laughs> because I will be able to naturally remove uh, some options from this. Now that I'm actually reading the instructions, there will not be enough of this fabric. It can go to the side. Uh, oh, there will be enough of this. So, options include this. I think I would have enough of this. So water bubbles-esque, that is an option. Hey Wolf Tracks, welcome in. I definitely have enough of this one, which is our kind of navy blue with, now again, this is gonna be the interior lining, so this will be the fabric on the inside of the bag. So I definitely have enough of this one, so this is an option. Ooh, Brussels sprouts. I have uh, kind of stars and sparkles on a kind of cloudy night-esque. This is just a kind of straight black and grays and whites. I think, I do not know for sure, but I think I have enough of this fabric. Um, so kind of flowers as a silver metallic. This one's probably going to be cutting it close. I actually am not sure that I have enough of it, but I will show it to you all. Um, Actually, you know, we're just going to take this one out of the running. There's definitely not enough of this here for all the pieces we need. Disregard that last one. <laughs> I remember this fabric. We've used it in a bag before. Um, this I definitely have enough of, which is these pretty, uh, which is the right side, birds. Well, they're in every direction. So peachy. Hello, welcome in, Sassy Bell. Thank you for that follow. Uh, if we just want to do a solid, we have a straight solid, like kind of fuchsia pink. Just like a, a solid color. Similarly, I have a straight solid true-ish blue. Uh, there is not enough of this material. It's going to the side. Um, there's probably similarly enough, not enough of that material. This one will probably be cutting it close in terms of enough material, but I will show it to you all. Um, this is a floral in lighter colors. With a little bit of a metallic. It's like a little bit of a sheen added to it. And then finally, I think there's enough of this. You all might remember our friends. The girlfriends who whine. From the boozy backpack. So, I just showed you a lot of options. <laughs> I just showed you a lot of options. So as a quick reminder, quick reminder, this is the color of the exterior of the bag. So it's kind of this like bluish green, darker tone, what have you. Uh, we do have to pick one. <laughs> Uh, that is one thing. I think like some of the darker, like straight dark colors might not be a good option. So if I'm honest, the girlfriends who whine and this, this floral, I don't know that I'm going to have enough fabric for the lining. So I think I'm going to preemptively take these out of the running. Um, now the question for you all becomes, are there 
The light blue, like the very first one. Hold on. This one. Because we have the light blue and then we have like the plain solid blue. I think I have three quarters of a yard. I think that would be. What we can do is we can lay this one out and see if there's enough fabric for what we need to do. And if not, we can use the blue as the backdrop. I do kind of agree with you all that some of the darker colors would probably be hard to see stuff in the bag. So we can preemptively take like, for example, the blacks out. Um, Oh, the, the birds on. I'm like trying to get the lighting to cooperate. Versus, I do kind of like the idea of sticking. Why don't we do this? We'll see if we can do enough with the, with the lighter blue, if there's enough fabric there to cut all of the lining pieces. And if there's not, we'll consider one of these others. We don't really have too much left once I've eliminated. We have the solid blue. We have the birds on the peach. We have the solid pink if we want like a rail. And then we have the shells. Now here's the thing with the shells that I will say. I have two and a half yards of this. So this is enough fabric that I could make a dress out of it or like a top or something. So I I think we'd have to like really love this as the choice to choose it just because I have enough to do a bigger project. The rest of these are largely scraps left over from other things. Like this is scrap left over for something, but that's because I don't know how to math. <laughs> and so for some reason, what I needed like a yard for <laughs> It was like a yard and a half. I bought like four yards. <laughs> so because I couldn't math, I ended up with two and a half yards left. The rest of these are kind of legitimate scraps-ish. Um, yeah, fair. So I think would be a good contrast. So here's what we'll do. Let's pull this out. We'll bring it over to the table. We will lay it out and see if we can figure out if we have enough fabric for all of the lining pieces and go from there. Yeah, like the shell, here's the thing, I, I like the shell fabric, it would be a fun, like, but we can do better with the shell fabric. So let's swap over. Alright. So let's move a bunch of this to the side. So let's take a look at what we need lining wise. Okay. So I'm kind of looking at like making a pile. I hate to say making a pile, but between things that I only need one lining for and ones that I need two. I don't actually think I need anything for that guy. So you can go to this side. You either. Okay. We would need lining here. We need two lining, two. Lining, two lining. We're gonna be cutting it real close here, y'all. I think there will actually not be enough of this fabric. Um, okay, these ones do not, okay, we're gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. 
So. Um, we lay this out. Each of these that I'm laying out right now require two of the lining. And then everything left, which is laid over here, I only require one. So what it means is, is that I can double up stuff. So I'll actually, I'm going to be laying double out just to account for like the fabric is currently folded over. Um, actually, you know what, y'all? I think we're just going to barely make this work. Barely. But it's going to work. Uh, we will have a teeny, but actually, I love that for us because... What I do want, and I, I kind of love the idea that I am going to use up the majority of this fabric scrap. So these are the single lines. We will set them over here. Let me lay this all back out for a second. Actually, you know what we are going to do? I am going to... Before we cut it, I, because this has been folded up and it has a lot of um, folds and wrinkles, we are going to iron it first before we cut it. Let's put that over here. And I think I'm, this is surprisingly going to work out very well for us, y'all. Thank you for your contribution to our fabric choice here. Uh, similarly, I've not picked a fabric for the interior of when I do the second build for this, which will be, unless, here's, here is one scenario, y'all. Unless. I get this sewn over the weekend and the bag is so good that I absolutely need to use one of my nice vinyls for it to take on my trip. I will not make a second one before I come back from vacation. Unless I truly, truly love this bag so much that I need one of the nice, the nice ones. It's shimmery. It's shiny. I showed them off a little bit earlier. If you're interested, I will show you the nice vinyls that I have picked up. for which I do not currently have the interior picked out. I also do not have a webbing picked out. <laughs> so we're gonna have to do a lot if, uh, whoop. If I decide that I want to make one of those happen. In this case, we're using, um, the vinyl we're using is a remnant I just picked up at one of my local shops with the intent of doing a test build of a fabric, of a project like this with it. Like, that was my goal. I spent three bucks to buy a half yard of a remnant of vinyl so I could do a test build. Um... Similar to what we did with the pickleball bag. I, that first one, the, the brown fabric, that was test leftover fabric from a different project that I was using for a test build. Which was the entire intent and purpose of it, was me to say, okay, what did I need to learn from this before I use the nicer fabric? Now this doesn't have to be perfect um, for the folds. I just want it, and like some of the wrinkles and folds, I just want it to be like not quite so 
obvious and bad before I cut it. This is from, um, you all remember I used this in the quilt I made for charity for my parents before the end of last year that I did in the quilt as you go method. So I cut out all of the box and stuff. Now again, because this is the test build, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just want it to be All right, these we don't need to cut extras of. They're fine as is. I'm gonna set you right there. Grab this guy at my table is a mess right now. I'm trying to do too many things here and I did not <laughs> properly clean it before uh, we got started, but you know what? That's that's fine. Sometimes it is organized chaos. This is who I am as a person. <laughs> um, all right. So we are going to take and fold it in half again, just to make my life oh, or fold it back in half to make my life just a tiny bit easier. specifically for doing these ones where I need two pieces of lining. Up we go. All right. So now We will lay these out. First off, let's be let's be smart here. <laughs> and uh, leave the vinyl behind. I don't need the vinyl for all of this art. Two, 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 two. Uh. Ah. So we're gonna cut out any of the ones that need. I think this will work. All right. This is our layout. We're gonna cut these kind of one at a time. The good part with these is that what I can do. Um, so I have these little uh, pattern weights that I made myself. So they're just a little bit of scrap fabric and um, leftover ribbon from a previous project with rice in it. That is life, organized chaos. You are, you are correct. Um. A reminder alarm. Okay. This I'm being a little more precise on just because I'm a 
feel like be a little more challenging. Alright, so now we have two pieces of this. Which means you're gonna need these two. And I'll get clipped together, and then all we will need is interfacing, which can go off to separate pile for interfacing. Alright. Just me awkwardly turning my whole body around all of this to cut. Totally fine. Ha 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 ha. There we go. Or put together. Uh, the other thing that will come with testing on this one too is uh, I feel like this is a lighter weight vinyl. But we are going to take our chances with it in terms of um, not interfacing it. Because they just said you should really only interface if you're using either um, quilt weight cotton. So like the fabric we're cutting right now. Or cotton canvas. I think while it is a lighter weight vinyl, they do not specify that any vinyls um, would have to, would need. All right, here. We don't need to cut all of this, but we can cut like these little, little scrappy pieces out of the way. Throw them into our pile. Um, so I don't think that this technically would need um, interfacing on the exterior pieces, but that's part of what the test build is for in the sense of if I feel like it's not stable or hefty enough, then I know better for my next build. Um, again, I don't have a ton of experience with bags or vinyl, so this is a little bit of a intended to be like a learning curve for me, and that is intentional that I'm like trying these things out with. That's why we're using test fabrics instead of my nice fabrics to start so that I'm learning how to work with these things. Um, while also, all right, hold on. I also need to mark these because I'm a fool. Um, trash, 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 all right. Sometimes I just throw little bits of fabric on the floor, but it kind of depends on how big it is and how much it'll annoy me to step on it. All right, so our small front pocket, um, small front pocket, two lining, done. Our side panel, two lining, our zipper pocket, where you at zipper pocket, two lining. All right, so now. Hold this over, slide it down. Honestly, if I was smart, I think that's exactly what I'm actually going to do. Just cut it this way. I don't know why I was putting like that thin piece at the bottom when I really should have been putting it at the top. <laughs> Uh, lessons learned. Music, have you frozen on me again? Oh, Nightbot being like, hydrate. You are correct, Nightbot. Please hold. Uh, my music has frozen. My mouse is covered with fabric. Please hold while I uncover my mouse. I do not know that it will happen um, before before I return from vacation, but I need to clean this room up. It's because I've been trying to do too many projects at once. 
All right. Uh, actually, I'm gonna switch us to BRB, y'all. So I will still be talking to you, but I need to go refill my water because it is low. Please make sure to take breaks to hydrate, stretch, bio break if you need it. And of course, as always, I appreciate all of you keeping me company while I'm doing crafty things. I know cutting fabric is not the most interesting. Choosing fabric is fun. Cutting fabric, maybe not so much. Um, All right. We have both refilled our water and got a new cider. And we are back to cutting. We're just we're just all the cutting tonight. I promise there will actually be sewing. I might We'll see how long the rest of this takes us, because I still have to do the interfacing too. We are not going to start this tonight, but I might try to cut that, um, do the, or cut, might try to do a little sewing on that test tank top. Anybody have any fun plans for the weekend? I'm basically just working on projects and a lot of the stuff that you see I'm <laughs> a lot of the things you see me cutting today are the things that I will be um or that the things that I intend to be working on um I'm very intrigued on how this is all gonna- oh, cause I- I bet you that's the back. That's probably what this is. Alright, so main body panel. We did two lining. Um, cutting fabric at some point as well as working on it. Oh, test knit for a designer! Nice! Uh, what are you gonna be cutting fabric for? Is there a particular project here? Well, I assume there's a particular project you're working on. If you're willing to share what that project is. I am the, uh, has too many works in progress. So we'll be working on the dress, we'll be working on the tank top, and we will also be working on this bag. Um, Because really, what I lack is self-control. Also, I've already decided that one day I'll convince somebody to do, uh, or I shouldn't say convince, I will commission somebody to do some very specific bag brick prints for me that I can get, or like uh, designs for me to get printed on spoon flour. <laughs> and it's going to be stuff like... Please make a fun design using, like, Sailor Jupiter symbols and colors. Because that's the type of nerd I am. A bag for a coworker. Ooh, and a set of placemats. Nice. I'm still, uh, I'm practicing bags. Part of this is I, I do not want everything I do to be bags because I like doing apparel and other projects, but I would like... Um, there's a lot of, a, there are a lot of fun, like, vinyls and fabrics and things that I would love to, um, be able to make bags from. 
And I feel like finding bags that in, in the designs and shapes and what have you that I like. Um, large front pocket. Lining. There we go. Um, is a challenge. So much like clothes, rather than me trying to find and or spending way too much on the one I want, why not make it myself? I say that, I might end up being very bad or not very happy with making bags, but I want to try, at least. So this was the zipper panel, zipper panel to lining. Ooh. Um, ooh, playing Valheim with a friend on Sunday. Nice. Valheim was one of those ones where I'm like, this looks really cool, and then I was always doing something else, so I never, I never ended up actually really getting into it, um, despite the fact that it was very much up my alley. Um, one of your friends is throwing a party. Social battery is low, trying to hype myself up. Ooh, yeah, I, that's a mood. I've definitely gotten into the, like, willingness to tell people no when I just don't have, like, the mental capacity, I guess, to... to socialize. Do you see? Welcome in. Jupiter would be cool. Yeah, I'm just thinking, like, you know, uh, think... Here's the thing. I have a lot of fun um, from both Pokemon and... Primarily Pokemon and... What was the other one? Legend of Zelda. But I also know that they did, like, Sailor Moon and stuff. Like, Black Mount clothing... It's not even the clothing itself. It's the fabric. That I'm like, ooh, if I could get that fabric, I would make so many things, like that pattern or design. Um, and so the nut of it is, is one day I will. And the way I will do that is I will commission somebody to draw the design with the agreement that it's not for commercial use. It's literally to be like, please draw this with the understanding that I would like to print it onto a fabric strictly for my personal use. All right, bottom panel. Um, local pride event, meeting friends for dinner on Saturday nights, and Sunday will be recovery. Yes, all of us, we need recovery days. I'm glad that I'm doing brunch with my friends on Sunday. Um, we're gonna probably do like a mid-morning, so closer to breakfast probably, um, just so that we can kind of get it done and um, then have the rest of our day. She has something to do by two o'clock. So that kind of gives me the flexibility to be like, cool, 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 cool. Let's be done well before that. So I can have some of the day to sew before Mass Effect at 8 p.m. Right. 
we're going to a, a place that does um, tea and crepes, which I am very excited about. Um, this is true. We are technically Saturday is June 1st, y'all. I just realized. I was like, what day is it? It is May 30th today, which means tomorrow's the 31st, which means that... Why, yes, Saturday kicks off June in the beginning of Pride event. I will say, I I booked... So I had to book my vacation. Um, I tried to do an earlier date, um, but the... The the room I wanted for the cruise that I'm taking was not available before the week that I'm going. Like, it was sold out, I should say. Like, all of the earlier cruises were sold out. And so, I was like, well, I absolutely want this. So the earliest I could do is the cruise that I'm taking. And I couldn't book any later unless I wanted to go into July, which I didn't want to do. Because then you have to start worrying about oh no I didn't need a lining for that one y'all I thought I did but apparently I did not that one was in the wrong place this is the one I needed the lining for well well, oops. We'll just have an extra piece. Totally fine. These things happen. Uh, thank you, DC. Chat helped select this as our interior lining fabric. Uh, but so anyways, I couldn't book any later because either I would have to go into July or I realistically could not book it because I was going to go overlap with a couple other team members who were also going to be out. And just, just based on, <laughs> I am the like, um, how would I phrase this? Phrase this. Of those of us who touch the most projects on my team and are like senior, but still do execution, I am kind of the, there's two of us that are the most senior of, um, small front pocket, guess it. My manager, after, you know, reporting into my manager, the next kind of two most senior people after him are me and one of the other guys. And so we try to not have more than one of us out at the same time if we can help it. And if I, basically I get back and two days later, my manager leaves on vacation. <laughs> so <laughs> we were kind of like, as much as I would have, uh, I, I, I didn't want to go for the later date because his was already booked and that would have just been challenging to deal with, or alternatively, very frustrating if I tried to book it and they said, no, you can't. That would have been very frustrating too. But the reason I'm explaining all of this is the downside of this means is that the time I booked, while it is the most ideal time for me to take the vacation, means that I am going to be missing um, my local pride parade and like main events, um, which I am a little sad about, but the crew that I normally attend with um, also have conflicting schedules and would not be able to make it either. So I at least am like, we're all missing it together, I guess is how I would phrase it. It's a whole thing because one of our friends, his birthday is usually like the main pride weekend here. So we do a bunch of extra stuff for him uh, or as part of his birthday. So like the fact that he's not going to make it and a couple of the other like key people is like, I'm feeling less bad about missing pride because we wouldn't have had our usual 
you know, um, nonsense group. Even if I am sad to just generally be missing Pride here. So I'll have to see if any of the further away cities um, are scheduling theirs for later in the month or not. Hold on. Ooh, I could edge that, but it's fine. This will be like this one's a little um, this one's a little lopsided, but it'll be fine. Okay. Um Ugh. Okay. That was our large front pocket gusset. Large front pocket gusset. Alright, so if we take a look. I'm double checking that all of my exteriors and all of my liners have been marked. They have. I also did my bottom stabilizer. I don't need you. So next up, y'all. And actually, we had way more left than I thought, but still a relatively small patch compared to the full three-quarter yard that we had before. So, we'll kind of cut off. We will keep some of these slightly, two other slightly larger pieces. And then we can use this for something else in the future. One day I'll actually bust out, maybe use a bunch of my scrap um, yeah, cotton fabric uh, and do some small, like, scrappy quilt things. I have lots of leftover, uh, leftover batting as well. All right, so next up is our interfacing. Um, so first, I'm gonna pull out some of these kind of smaller pieces to see if there's anything that will fit for some of the smaller bits. Um, probably not, but I'm gonna just see. You never know. Maybe I will luck out. And a couple of the pieces will just be the right size. These kind of weird scraps, unless you're doing like really small things, are slightly annoying. Alright. Like, actually. This guy might perfectly fit right here. So we might get a couple out of this. Alright. Um, you obviously we will need a larger piece. We're not gonna iron this tonight, but I would at least like to cut it. Um Some of these are definitely too big. These larger pieces, which we'll just have to use the regular. Yeah, I think we're just, unfortunately, unless I want to try like cutting one in half or something, which might be an option. But I'd rather do full pieces for this first test build. Sometimes if I'm like, ah, oh, I don't know about it, I will like, jury rig enough uh, interfacing to put on the back. Alternatively, the other thing I could do is instead of um, cutting it, I could interface it first, like lay the pieces out, iron it, but I'll save that for future consideration. We will cut this one piece because it will work. And I think I only need one. Yes. Mm 
the good part with interfacing is that I can iron it on and then if necessary trim the edges if it's a little too big any, on any one side. So there we go. Complete. That was the large front pocket gusset as interfacing. So welcome to the more boring part of All right, we are going to jury rig. This one I only need one of, so I'm willing to take the chance. Also, let me know if my mic just randomly cuts out, because sometimes my battery appears to be dying very quickly. Whether it actually would die that quickly, I'm not 100% sure, but... This is the one where I'm going to cheat. There's enough here for me to do both sides for this one piece of lining, so that's what we're going to do. This is one I could make do with that fabric. Great. And that was the small French pocket gusset. So it's interfacing. And then we just end up with a whole mishmash of little bits and pieces, none of which are quite big enough for what we need. So we just kind of throw them to the side. And then I have one little scrap place. Um, one little scrap place that I throw little bits and pieces. Well, I appreciate you, Mithrin. Thank you for that. Alright, let us shift everything up. Scrap, scrap for this side because we gotta take the note with the. Alright, do a little bit of organization here. Put our scissors away where they belong. Duster to this part of the table. I'm not sure we're going to have to measure our zipper tape to see if we're going to have enough for this particular build. Alright. There we go. So now we are doing interfacing, y'all. Well, I mean, we were doing interfacing before, but. Now we're doing more interfacing is what I mean. All right. Um, so this is uh, a woven, this is Shape Flex 101, so SF 101. So it is a woven interfacing. Oh, this piece probably would have been perfect for that one that I... Bigger pieces. Okay, perfect. So the only thing we are going to do here. So let's just that. I just want to check real quick. Would this be nearly? So what we will do is just in case. I only needed one and two, or one lining, one lining. We will. We're going to cut this and hold on to it in case we just need it, and that can be an extra backup. Then, this one's going to be interesting, because what we are going to do here, 
funny things that I do, y'all, is sometimes I just take this stuff. I'm going to fold it over because that should make it basically about the width I need for this. And I need two of these. So we will place one end, one at the other. thing I need to do is lay it back out and trim the edge on one side. There we go. That just kind of takes care of some of the bigger smaller pieces. So we have two here. This guy is done. We are Fly this back out and find our pencil. There we go. And that was our zipper panel. Zipper panel. Zipper pocket. Zipper panel. There we go. Done. Zipper panel is complete. So now, unfolded. And now we're just gonna take a look. All right, so I'm gonna need two. I'm gonna need two. 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 One and one. All right. Can I do the one and one here before we have to actually start folding this all over? We put one, perfect, yes, all right. And see, the thing is, is I use all of, um, I use this checklist, I mark it all off with pencil, and then once I'm done with the materials for the project, I will take an eraser to this. That was the zipper pocket. No, that was the internal pocket slip. Um, Small pocket that way. Hold on. All right. Zipper panel. Large pocket. Flat panel. He said large pocket gusset. Small for pocket gusset. Yeah. So help us mark everything off is basically what I'm doing here. <laughs> and by us, I mean me. Help me mark everything off. Oh, 
right? And there is our bottom panel. So the bottom panel is done. Back panel. Basically, now we can get to all of the other things. Um, kind of trying to figure out, like, what are the things that are easy enough for me to double up? I just want to fold this over. You can go here, you can go here, and to view, and then you can. Um. How much can I complete by just folding over half like this? Uh, right, so do you fit? Yes. Would it take less if I did it this way, like unfolded and folded in half? Maybe. Alright, let's do this one first, and then we'll try the other way. A lot of trial and error going on here. I'm trying to like make the most efficient use of the fabric that I have, really. Or the materials that I have. Fabric, interfacing, all of it. I mean, there's always going to be little bits and corners and things that, and there's just nothing you can do about that. But any place that I can kind of like more effectively use these materials than I will. No point in wasting it if I don't have to. Our large front pocket lining. Yes, mark it off. So now um, we hold this over. Let's see what it's going to get us. What is the most efficient use of... Well, that's unfortunate. Um... Hold on. Idea.
that's what we're gonna do. Oh, all right, hold on. I'm like trying to find the most efficient use of space here. going to do now. We want to slide this. not perfect there will still be some left over but it's better all right Basically, trying to make the most of your fabric with stuff when it's not like one of the big four that'll tell you exactly how to cut it is a little bit like a game of Tetris. How can you make as much as possible fit in the space available with as few gaps as possible to make the most of the material you'll have and have the least amount of waste? So that was our side panel. My dear, oops, are done. Two more to go, y'all, and we will have finished cutting and we will probably call it a night, which unfortunately means we will not be doing any sewing and that we will not get to test out the uh, not get to test out. the tank top cut that I did. But I promise that if we don't do that on stream, I will make sure to show the results so y'all can see whether that actually worked as intended or not. My fingers are crossed that it's going to. I really hope it will. Uh, 
Alright. Scrappy pieces, bigger pieces. Scrappy pieces, I'll get all this scrappy stuff over here sorted at some point. Actually. Do good safety. Make sure to close your rotary cutter when you are not using it. To avoid injuring yourself or others. In this case, mostly myself. Alright, so this will be our zipper pocket. Even can I feel this done? Is it ready to go? Oh no, here we go. Alright, and then all that will be left is this guy right here. And then I end up with all these funky little leftover bits where I'm like, maybe I can make something of this. No, no, I can't. Let's be, let's be honest with ourselves. Alright, scrap. Throw you all together. It will take probably a good 30 minutes to an hour for me to iron all of this. But that's fine. So that's the last piece. The only thing we are going to do now, before we call it a night, is we are going to do some measuring of the zipper tape that I have on hand um, with the intent let's, uh, that to the side. Not too much left here. Should theoretically be just enough for me to do a second one of these builds. Theoretically, because that's assuming that I actually math correctly. And as we know, mathing is not my strong suit. I appreciate you, Mithrin. Okay. So this can also, I just have a pile of fabric here that's like, you can go to the side. Alright, so now we need to do some mapping. I'm not sure that I'm going to have enough zipper tape. Well, in this color, which is the one I originally intended to use. So, we need... Well, first off, my numbers are upside down. So first we need 15 and 3 quarters. So we're just going to say 16, which is going to bring us to here. Then we need 13 and a half. So we will just say 14, which will bring us to here. Then we need 10. Then we need, yep, we're going to be short. Well, y'all. I don't think if I order it now, I'm going to get it before I leave next week. Ooh. What do I have? What else do I have in my... This is because I got my, um, what materials I had confused and foolishly I didn't check what I had. So the only other zipper tape I have right now is the rainbow, which I do want to save, or it's the rose gold. And I specifically bought for this project Gunmetal colors. Well, <clears throat> my apologies. 
did not mean to cough on you all. <coughs> what was I? I have so many questions. Um, well, well, I guess it's like no big deal for me to use whatever, but I wanted them to match. Listen, fabric Tetris is just who I am as a person. These are my nicer ones, which I want to save for later ones. Um, I guess I could use some gunmetal and some rose gold with the gunmetal and it'll be fine. I didn't know what I was going to use rose gold for. I just saved it. Um, I do have a full rainbow, rainbow teeth with rainbow pools and only one set of rose gold pools. So my mistake here, in fairness to myself, was that I incorrectly thought I had another set of um, zipper by the yard that I thought I was going to use for the uh, the pickleball bags, and then obviously didn't. You know what I could do though? I could use both. I have the pools, so I can use however much I have for the main, because one's the large front pocket, the main panel, and the small front pocket. So I could do the fronts with gunmetal, and I could do the interior and the back exterior with the rose gold, and I will have matching pieces for it. So you know what? We, we can make this work. We're going to make this work. That's what we're going to do. For fun. For funsies. All right, so let me keep one piece of this that will go with the project. The rest of this can go in the trash. All right, let me switch this over to, real quick, we'll wrap up. Thank you all for hanging out with me while I did fabric so cutting which is I know not the most interesting but fun and you all got to help me uh, pick out y'all got to help me pick out a uh, the lining and everything so as mentioned TBD probably not Sunday it is possible that tomorrow evening or Saturday afternoon evening, I might do an impromptu stream just while I'm to keep me company while I'm sewing. Cause at this point I've cut everything probably tomorrow afternoon. I'll get all the ironing done. I'll run out to the store to pick up the fabric I'm missing for the dress. And from there we will just be sewing and that'll be it. Um, so I would just say, keep an eye out on socials or if Twitch is being cooperative and actually and actually sending out notifications on time and notification go live notification and we will potentially uh, stream some sewing over the weekend if not definitely I'll be back here Monday night as of right now uh, and Monday night will be our last pre-vacation pre-trip stream uh, so thank you all so much for hanging out I'm gonna swap us over stream is ending um, and in addition, as you all know, to the usual, uh, Team Cypher weekends of Urban Bohemian, Stephen, uh, Joys, and then Pirate on Saturday, we will also, of course, have our game of Mass Effect on Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern on Praxagora Thesmophoria's channel. Um, thank you all so much. I promise Susie will get all the head pats. Uh, shout out to Springleaf and... David to Sly for the resubs, uh, to Pirate for the raid, Saucy for the follow, to all of you for hanging out with me, uh, for a chill fabric cutting stream. I promise we will be doing more games once I'm back. I think I just like prioritize a whole bunch of fabric stuff because I wanted to try and get things done before my trip. So let's take a quick look and see if anyone is live. Do do. Um, 
Almost everyone who is alive has uptime for so long. They've all been live for so long, I'm really concerned if anybody will still be up. Alright, hold on. Let's, we're gonna go do a quick check to see. Um. You know what? PB is live. Playing Destiny 2. So PB uh, plays Etsy on our Mass Effect game. So we're going to raid over to PB, who is good people, and is playing our token human on our Mass Effect game on Sunday evenings. Uh, playing Destiny 2 and doing some farming. So let's go hang out with them. And have fun. So as always, everyone, please be safe, be healthy, happy crafting, happy gaming, all of those things. And I hope to see you around streams and the internet. Have a good one. Thank you so much for the raid.